This is far-right activist Laura Loomer and white nationalist Nick Fuentes cheering to... To so the hostile takeover of the Republican Party. Absolutely. <laughs> and they're not wrong. Both met personally with Donald Trump. I first met Loomer in 2017 at an event for Manosphere influencer Mike Cernovich. At the time, Loomer was an activist who'd celebrated the deaths of Muslim migrants. But she was being harassed by white nationalist trolls because she's a Jewish woman. Since then, she's taken a strange trajectory, with years somewhat in obscurity because she'd been banned from so many social media sites, like Twitter. When Elon Musk took over Twitter, she came back. She does stunts like ambush interviews. Frank, why aren't you supporting President Trump? I'm a successful investigative journalist. Loomer recently told CNN she's not anti-Muslim. Now, some might dispute that she's entered the mainstream, but she's reached the former president's elite inner circle. Flying to the presidential debate on Trump's plane and to New York as he observed the anniversary of 9-11. A notable appearance... <laughs> Somewhat Mao is here. Everyone should have a house, even streamers, even though their audiences think it's a crime. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's awesome. God, I love I love streaming, dude. This is why. Okay. I love this community. I love that I'm fortunate enough to be able to build a community like this. It's fucking fantastic. Okay. Since Loomer has pushed the false conspiracy theory that 9 11 was an inside job, she's been seen with Trump a lot. Hey We're here at Bedminster. I'm with the greatest president ever. After rumors circulated among right wing Twitter users, including Loomer, that Haitian. Genuine question is giving her this much airtime good or bad? No, it's already it's over. She's already in his inner circle. Hiding the truth about her fucking insanity is worse. Okay? Up until the very moment, look, guys, I have a policy of not highlighting Nazis on this broadcast, even if they're doing a lot of funny things that, you know, people love to clown on them for. Until it gets to a certain point where they reach a prominent mainstream platform and at which point they have to be fucking dealt with. Okay. Laura Loomer is the perfect example of this, where like until she reaches Trump's inner circle, She's irrelevant. Who gives a fuck? Don't talk about it ever. Do not give her any fucking, uh, you know, do not give her even a moment of, of uh, coverage. But the moment that he, the moment that she reaches Donald Trump's inner circle, then it's a problem. Okay? Then you have to cover what the fuck is going on there. Is she a Zionist or a Nazi? First of all, Zionists are Nazis. What are we talking about? That's number one. And number two... She is both a Zionist and a Nazi at the same time. She's reaching far more than the inner circle. Connor, you are one of my favorite, consistent, funniest uh, members of the community. Yeah. What's not interesting, what's interesting is not that she is both a Zionist and a Nazi because, you know, that's a distinction without a difference in many instances. What's interesting is that she is a Nazi and she's Jewish at the same time. How can Zionists be Nazis? <sighs> Zionism is the exact same thing as Nazism. It's just that the in-group that is supposed to be holding on to the power and racial superiority or ethnic superiority or religious superiority is different than the Nazis and the out-group that you're supposed to be dominating is different. That's it. It's both fascist, okay? Zionism is a fascist ideology. It is an ultra-nationalist ideology built around ethnic and religious boundaries, okay? That's it. Who is considered to be ubermensch and who is considered to be untermensch in this regard is different, but the fundamentals are the same. Because it is fascist. Like you purposely ignored Booger Nick until he was in the inner circles of Kanye's campaign and had dinner with Trump. Exactly. I never talked about Nicholas Fuentes. I never 
brought him fucking chicken and waffles or had my ex-wife now make him a sandwich when he was at my house and we were fucking hanging out because why the fuck would I do that? Why would I give him a prominent role? Why would I platform him? That is insane. Because I'm not a fucking Nazi like some people. You know. <laughs> you banned the shit out of me? Wait, where is that chatter? You banned the shit out of me a few years ago for sending a Fuentes link. Yeah, of course. You know what's really funny about that? I do that shit, and then people get real fucking mad. They're like, oh, how dare you do that? Some people are understanding, like Hellbender, 62 month subscriber. Other people see that and literally clip it on Reddit and post it on the fucking boner Chelly community to be like, Hassan can't take criticism. That's why he banned a long-term community member. I'm like, yeah, you should know better. Anyway. Immigrants are eating people's pets in Ohio. Trump repeated the claim in the debate. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. I spoke to Loomer before the debate. She told me she's attacked as a childless woman who devotes all her time to a man who will never pay attention to her, meaning Trump. But Trump does pay attention to her and reads her reports. Laura, how are you? You look so beautiful, as always. You don't want to be rumored. If you're rumored, you're in deep trouble. Trump! Trump. Oh! Good morning, everybody. My name is Laura Loomer. She ran for Congress twice and lost. But she told me she built a constituency among the very pro-Trump voters in the villages, a retirement community that's important in Florida Republican politics. She called them boomers for loomer, and they were paying attention when she began attacking Governor Ron DeSantis for having the temerity to run for president against Trump. You are never going to be president of the United States of America. Loomer told me one of her donors let it slip that DeSantis was running for president in 2021. So on the first stop on the DeSantis book tour, she stood in front with a Trump sign and a T-shirt. Despite her new closeness to the former president, some pro-Trump Republicans are very against her. Her rhetoric and her tone is... is okay. Now it makes sense. Trump has become increasingly more paranoid over the years. And... As a direct consequence of that, he has made his circle even tighter. This is the exact same reason why he chose J.D. Vance, who is a uh, bloodless, soulless, monstrous brown noser. And this is now, I assume, the reason why he has Laura Loomer in his corner, because that is a ride or die. Is, does not match the base, does not match MAGA, does not match most Republicans I know. And I, I'm completely denouncing it. I'm over it. There is a growing feud that is playing out in public today, and it's really exposing tensions between Donald Trump's allies. Far-right activist Laura Loomer was seen with Trump yesterday at events commemorating 9-11, despite the fact that she previously spread conspiracy theories about those very terrorist attacks. Yeah, she posted on social media saying that it was an inside job. She was also seen getting off his plane. You see the video here. This is in Philadelphia, just ahead of the debate. Some of Loomer's comments, though, have proven to be too extreme for some in MAGA world. CNN's Manu Raju is following this story. Manu, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene is not holding back, going after Loomer. And now other Republicans are joining her. What are they saying? Yeah, that's right. In fact, Marjorie Taylor Greene, someone herself who has been very outspoken, very controversial in some of her rhetoric. But she says what Laura Loomer has been saying has been going 
too far. And she contends it does not represent the MAGA movement, does not represent former President Donald Trump. This is in the aftermath of her post, racist post about Kamala Harris's Indian heritage. That was too much for Marjorie Taylor Greene. And then afterwards, Loomer went to attack her on social media. So I asked her about this feud between those two. And this is what MTG said to me just moments ago. Concerns about her rhetoric and her hateful tone. Uh, to me, many of the comments that she makes. Oh my God! I just realized maybe Marjorie Taylor Greene hates her because she's Jewish. Before I said Marjorie Taylor Greene hates her because like Trump has to have one. Trump can only have one ugly, like freakish-looking demonic woman in his corner. And like first it was Sarah Fuckabee Sanders. And then now it's, you know, it was supposed to be Marjorie Taylor, Marjorie Taylor Greene, but like kind of Laura Loomer just like came in and, you know, cast her aside. And I thought maybe that was the reason, but now I'm thinking it could be because don't forget Alina Hubba. Alina Hubba is a fucking smoke show. What do you mean? Alina Hubba Hubba? Are you crazy? Donald Trump does not give a shit about what women do beyond the fact that they just look good behind him and like other dudes think that that's sick. The two angles that I think MTG, uh, the, the two or three different angles here, okay? One, it could be because Marjorie Taylor Greene is anti-Semitic and thinks that Jews have space lasers, which by the way, she used to think that before Israel said they're working on a, a, an actual space laser. That has nothing to do with what Marjorie Taylor Greene was saying. That's totally besides the point. But she used to say Jews have space lasers, and maybe she's mad that, you know, she wants it in the hands of America, and she probably thinks that uh, Laura Loomer knows where the space laser is. That could be one reason. The other reason could be... The other reason could be that Marjorie Taylor Greene is upset because she was supposed to be slotted into the hideous, uh, the, the hideous demonic monster category that Trump has to have around him at all times. Or, last but not least, Marjorie Taylor Greene, and I'm sorry to say this, I know people are going to get mad. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a sexual dynamo. This is a factually accurate assessment of the situation, okay? She is. You might not like it, but this is what peak sexual performance looks like. We know this because she literally cheated on her husband at the time with her, like, weird tantric sex uh, gym owner, CrossFit gym owner, who Laura Loomer says looked like Zangief. Marjorie Taylor Greene since then has allegedly slept with Kevin McCarthy and also the guy at like One America News or whatever, or Newsmax. That's the boyfriend. That's the open boyfriend that she has now. Most controversial take is not even controversial. It's just the truth. I think a lot of you look at a woman that looks like a Titan from Attack on Titan and you think like she's not capable of being a sexual dynamo, okay? But the unfortunate reality is that she absolutely can be a sexual dynamo and is a sexual dynamo. Here it is. Hey, Marjorie Taylor Greene, remember when you destroyed your family so you could have sex with a Zangief cosplayer? Tell me again how you and the Arby's in your pants are represented as the GOP. She said her pussy is like Arby's. The girls are fighting. Like she's she's doing the roasty roast beef slur.
thing about Marjorie Taylor Greene, which is wild because you're literally a woman. Why would you ever say that about another woman, dumbass? They will say that about you too. You couldn't even run your own family. Don't tell me how to run my free speech. This is who uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene fucked. Embattled QAnon Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene openly cheated on her husband of 25 years with a polyamorous tantric sex guru and then moved on to another affair with the manager at her gym. This is... I mean, come on, guys. You know this, at least. I've covered it a lot. I cover it all the time. I bring it up, like, all the time. You've definitely heard me talk about this. Is it absolutely necessary to talk about this? Yes. Yes, it is. Not only is it absolutely appropriate to talk about it, you have to talk about it and you have to, you literally have to memorize these facts. Okay. I will be quizzing you on this later. And how she attacks Republicans like me, um, many other Republicans that are strong supporters of President Trump. I think they're a, a huge problem and that doesn't represent MAGA as a whole. She still traveled with the former president. Do you, would you encourage Trump not to keep close contact with her? You know, Laura Loomer has, has lost two Republican congressional campaigns, one in a general and one in a primary. Damn! And, um, Damn! I, I, this is such an important election. I, I don't think that she uh, has the experience or, or the right mentality to advise a, a very important presidential well, election. Former... But I do know this, that her rhetoric. Dude, what is this? Welcome back, Nikki Haley. Dude, ever since she started fucking Kevin McCarthy, okay? Ever since she started fucking Kevin McCarthy, she's been like so, like obviously she d still does the QAnon shit. But every now and then, dude, every now and then, like, she just has, like, a moment of clarity. And you're like, you're Marjorie Taylor Greene. Like, what do you mean? This is not the Republican Party. Like, you literally are the Jewish space lasers lady. Like, you were at an event for January 6th prisoners, like, last week, advocating for their release. Like, you called them political, you called them political hostages and shit. Like, I don't understand. Like, there's nothing funnier than being like, wow, the... It's like AOC coming out and being like, the Democratic Party has gotten too woke, folks. You know? We gotta stop. We gotta cut it with this fucking progressive nonsense. Like, you are the movement. You are the momentum. As a... You are the person. You're like Laura Loomer who got elected. That's it. Like, that's... There's no... There's not really anything different between you and her, honestly and her tone is is does not match the base does not like she's saying what laura loomer is saying does not match the tone of the base like it kind of does that's why you do it all the time it's just that like she's a little gross with it like she goes above and beyond she she absolutely passed the you know she actually she actually ends up passing the boundaries of permissibility which you do all the time too you want to hit so bad with a shovel? Like, what the fuck do you mean you want to hit so bad? I want to hit myself in the head with a shovel and instead of thinking about that. That's insane. You see that, you see that thing from the corner of your eye in the middle of the night, okay? You are not going, ooh, I'm horny. That's not what's happening. You're not like, ooh, wonderful. That's like, oh my God, this is my sleep paralysis demon. When did you go from politics to gossiping about who sleeps with who? Um, politics is about sometimes uh, gossip surrounding who's sleeping with who. 
especially because currently we're talking about Laura Loomer, a real will they, won't they situation her, between her and Donald Trump. Match MAGA does not match most Republicans I know, and I, I am completely denouncing it. I'm over it, and I would encourage anyone else that matches her statements to stop. But Trump himself was indeed traveling with Laura Loomer in the way to Tuesday's debate, and he's someone that she has she has been within his inner circle, and someone has causing clearly concerns not just among Marjorie Taylor Greene, but also other people who are aligned with Donald Trump, worried about his alliance with someone who espouses such extreme rhetoric, racist rhetoric, pushes conspiracy theories and the like. This is what Senator Lindsey Graham just moments ago told our colleague Ted Barrett here on Capitol Hill. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Uh, someone in the chat said, what the fuck is that chatter talking about? A politician literally sleeping with someone led to the second ever presidential impeachment. It's like, no, that chatter was there being like, mm, sweetie. I don't like that you're talking about tea between Monica Lewinsky and uh, Bill Clinton. Okay. Ugh, this is just gossip. He said, I think what she said about Kamala Harris and the White House is abhorrent. But he said it's deeper than that. He said she says some things about Republicans, too. And she, he says, he went on to say about Trump, he would serve himself well to make sure that she doesn't become a bigger story. So a clear concern among some of Trump's closest allies that he's getting too close to her and that he needs to show some distance. Guys. Interesting. Are we legit reporting on whether Trump has sex with Laura Loomer during his campaign tour? I mean, honestly, if you ask me in all sincerity, I don't think so, okay? But having said that, it is very funny to endlessly speculate. Like, if I'm being fully real, like, no, I don't think Trump fucked Laura Loomer. Get out of here. But do I think it's a phenomenal story to cover? Yes. Manu, and that Marjorie Taylor Greene is drawing a line at what acceptable rhetoric is, and it appears to be Jewish space lasers, uh, but not this. Manu Raju live. Damn! Work. Damn! Okay, CNN. Damn! Us on the Hill. Thank you so much. Joining us now is Jesslyn Cook. She's the author of The Quiet Damage, QAnon, and the Destruction of the American Family. Uh, Jesslyn... Laura Loomer, as we just mentioned, seen getting off of Trump's plane. She had this tweet out, a source telling CNN. Uh, yeah, also, you're, yeah, you're coming into the broadcast of a dude who spent like three and a half hours describing how the Duluth Dyson Larry Sinclair sucked off Barack Obama in a limousine after Barack Obama gave him cocaine and then pulled out his own crack to do before getting his shit sucked sideways by the Duluth Dyson Larry Sinclair. Okay. Larold. She has the former president's number. She has used it. What is the effect of Trump spending time with and elevating someone like this? It's a really puzzling strategy. Obviously, when Marjorie Taylor Greene is the voice of reason, that's cause for alarm. A lot of Republicans are stunned by this. And what she's doing, what Laura Loomer is doing with... Giving the Barack to a... We're done here. We're done. We're Trump's done. help is just normalizing and spreading these really detrimental conspiracy theories, even the conspiracy theory we heard on the debate stage on Tuesday night from Donald Trump that... I bet your chatter brings up Kamala's presumed sexual history as a political point all the time. Yeah. Oh, 100%. They're like, she fucked her way to the top, dude. Yeah, she fucked the, the guy issuing the, <laughs> the bar. Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, are abducting and eating people's pets. Reporting suggests that he is picking up this kind of rhetoric from Laura Loomer, who is posting these conspiracy theories before he took the stage. And I'm wondering, since you brought up what he said on the debate stage about uh, Haitian immigrants in Ohio eating pets, how do conspiracy theories like that, of that ilk, originate? Marjorie Taylor Greene 
screaming from the rooftops about Laura Loomer being in Trump's orbit is giving Alex Jones telling Kanye West not to openly say he admires Adolf Hitler. Like, it has that same desperation. And it's the exact same type of situation. It's like, dude, what are you doing? You're giving the game away. You're being, like, far too open about your actual allegiances and associating yourself and others with, like, a truly toxic individual. Like, we agree with the ideas. We just can't say certain things. Why are you saying those things? It's the exact same situation. Don't say the quiet part out loud. You're giving the fucking game away. Aiden, and which ones are, are seemingly amplified more than others on social media and interviews and, and obviously on the debate stage? It seems like the media talking about this is needlessly elevating this. Fuck no. It's a it's an incredibly valid avenue of attack against Donald Trump. I'm just more so upset about the way that the media is covering it by like not really talking about how insane Laura Loomer is like barely covering, barely scratching the surface, okay, which has a shit ton. I mean, Laura Loomer is a target-rich environment. Um, like, in this circumstance, you have to talk about, like, how fucking insane she is and then immediately, immediately turn it into, and here's why he's saying, you know, Haitians are eating pets. Now, of course, they are kind of doing that. I like this guy. He's one of the best that CNN has, in my opinion. He kind of did do that. She's actually kind of popping off a little bit too. So I don't really have an issue with this kind of coverage overall. Um, I do hate it whenever they talk about... I do hate it whenever they... What? If your 70-year-old, 78-year-old grandpa called his new girlfriend a free spirit, you'd change all his passwords? <laughs> That's a good take. A lot of the time... It starts out with fringe figures online, increasingly more popular uh, mainstream bar right now. The jean jacket is, I think, Acme Studios. Influencers like Laura Luma, like Laura Loomer, repeating these wild falsehoods that kind of trickle their way up through the system, coming eventually out of the potential future president of the United States' mouth. And there's real offline harm to these online conspiracy theories. Just today, we saw... There's yeah, God forbid. God forbid you'd have a... <laughs> God forbid we have a president who says like unhinged, unsubstantiated things like uh, that he's seen dead children who are beheaded by Palestinian resistance fighters who then light them on fire with kerosene. God forbid that would be. Well, yeah, no, that would be actually really damaging to discourse, wouldn't it? Now, of course, if you're in mainstream media, you will substantiate those unsubstantiated claims because it goes along with the broader narrative that, like, Israel must uh, bring about hellfire destruction on the Palestinian population in an effort to continue their genocide. That is the most moral army. That's the most moral military. That's the most moral country on the planet. You know? There's a, a bomb threat in, in Springfield, Ohio. Reportedly, the caller was frustrated over Haitian immigration, and it led to schools closing. It led to city buildings closing. And even after that happened, Laura Loomer then went back on X and suggested that Haitian immigrants are not only eating pets, but eating people, just pushing wildly baseless, false, harmful claims. Uh -huh. and, and so, Jocelyn, I, I wonder if there is there a way... When left unchecked, by the way, this kind of narrative will only increase, as we have seen... Donald Trump go from nap. like Mexicans are rapist drug dealers and some are very fine people, I assume, to they're eating pets to they're eating humans too now. So that's what happens. That's what happens when you don't fucking actually, uh, you know, try to push back against this kind of wild, insane anti-immigrant sentiment, this Hitlerian nonsense. <laughs>